Justin Lukasavage with Backcountry Treks, just back from the resort, and I need to talk about this jacket. This is by Outdoor Research. It's the White Room Jacket. It's a three-layer Gore-Tex jacket and is the very first jacket that I've been very comfortable both at the resort and in the backcountry. I've had multiple days this season in it and uh, getting pretty dirty, and I love it. Going to show it off. The, the truck here is sort of reminiscent of where I've been just over the past uh, week or so, picking up a lot of dirt and this jacket has been with me through it all. Uh, this is a medium. I normally wear medium in outdoor research. It's uh, of their three uh, levels of fit. This is the top one, the most relaxed, the roomiest. So you've got t plenty of room to layer. Um, it fits very straight. Um, it's not um, that trim fit that they make. It's more of that relaxed, roomy fit. So you've got room to move, um, very comfortable in the, at the resort, which is primarily where I'm wearing it, probably two-thirds to one-third back country. So let me show you around <coughs> a little bit here. You don't have the standard pit zips that are really hard to open uh, as you raise your hand and have to hold on to that jacket to get into there. Um, these are, are more of a front pocket zip and they do this pass-through thing. So even when you're wearing a backpack, this goes all the way through and really vents out that air. They are a little bit trickier to get up, especially if you're wearing a backpack and you've got the straps coming through. Uh, you're gonna have the prop that same problem with any of them. The zippers are a little bit harder to operate, especially this front one. The main reason for that is because they're waterproof. Again, it's a three-layer Gore-Tex, goes all the way up. You have a little bit of a flannel, polyester flannel on both sides here, so you can cozy up next to that. I do wish the pockets went a little bit lower. They feel <clears throat> like they're up a little bit higher, but they're roomy. They go all the way down to here. Just the opening doesn't go down as far as the pocket does. You do have two pockets here. You've got this one. I normally would carry my iPhone in this if I'm out at the resort. You also have a lens cleaner, and I frequently am using this on the camera and on my, su on my sunglasses because I almost always drop them in the snow. You have a little strap so you can remove that if you like. This side is sewn into the jacket. I wish it was sewn um, more up or something because when I, I don't know, it's probably just because this cloth is here, but sometimes it doesn't go in all the way and it makes it a little bit harder to, to close that, but no worries. We've got a pass through for headphones on the inside here. So if you put your pocket or your phone in that pocket, you can pass those up to your ears. This pocket on the inside is a pass through pocket. I almost always keep my ski pass into here. And this one is actually accessible from the outside as well. So you've got that complete pass through. Now they do have a pass pocket in the bottom of this. It's Velcro. Um, the pass does, it fits nicely in there. It's just when the lifties are scanning me, they tend to do it up here and I'm like uh, kind of up there. So it's a little bit harder to get that. Now to get this hood up, you have to stop zipping it there. It's a really nice fit. Stop zipping it there, pull that on over. And I tend to ride the lift like this a lot. So I'm sitting here in my Breckenridge most of the time. In fact, I normally don't have these cinched, but I do have it cinched because I wasn't wearing it with the helmet earlier. So it usually fits a little bit looser. And then I zip it all the way up and I just hunker down when that wind's howling as I'm going up the, the uh, ski lift. And I usually forget to take it off. It, it's real tight. It fits real nice. This is a big bulky helmet. I usually grab it with my teeth because I got my poles over here. And then unzip that, and I've got my helmet buckled so it won't come off, but I can throw it off over the back. You have a cinch in the back, so you can pull that, as I mentioned, uh, yes, or no, uh, the last time I was out, I don't remember days anymore, I had it cinched down, I didn't have the helmet on, so I had it, again, it's a very roomy um, hood, and so I flipped this up like like that if I didn't need all of this in here. But again, it's got the adjustment in the back and then it has the two on the inside there and there. So very easy to adjust that to fit over to your head no matter what you're wearing. Let me show you this powder skirt because I think it's very unique. First of all, it does zip out. So if you wanted to zip that out and remove it, you could completely remove it. It has two adjustments here. So if you're on the heavier set side, you can use this one. If you're skinnier like me, you can use the inside one. So very easy to do that. 
Now, it integrates with OR's pants. This, these are also the white room pants that I'm wearing, so it completes the line. They're just snaps, and these are integrated to fit right into the um, buckle straps of your pants. You've got one here, you have one on the back, you have one on this side. This one, I wish the button was on the other side because I'm having to go in here. I wish it would go in through this side and snap like that. That would be easier, but I'm having to go here and then I can't see and it takes me like two minutes to do. So a little bit annoying, but the powder skirt works really well. When I'm wearing it, it doesn't ride up and it's a really nice fit there. One other thing I wanna talk about is the stash pocket on the inside. <clears throat> Most of OR stuff uh, is really big, so I can fit skins and stuff in there. Not the case with this. I usually have two little liner mittens that I wear that I stash on the inside here. And if I'm wearing bigger gloves or something, I don't have room for that. And normally, especially in the back country, I've got a backpack. So I've got the, um, the buckle on the waist strap and I'll just stuff the, um, the, the uh, gloves or the mittens inside my jacket. Um, and then they don't fall out. So the only thing that I use that stash pocket for because it's on the small side, is for like liner mittens, liner gloves. Uh, I'll throw them in there. But I really love this jacket. It fits really well. I like the roominess of it. It gives me a lot of room to layer. I can wear it at the resort. I can go to the back country. I can do both of those in the same day. I don't have to change my clothes to do it. It's the White Room Jacket by Outdoor Research. I'm Justin Lucas-Savage at Backcountry Treks.